On the headlines with us this afternoon is James Freeman, James, the assistant editor at the editorial page of the Wall Street Journal, also Fox contributor. And to go through some of those stories, James, the Elon Musk announcement, it's been speculated about for quite some time, and he confirmed it uh, today that, yeah, I'm moving from California to Texas, um, one of the richest human beings on planet Earth. Does it make a, a statement? And if so, what's that statement? Well, I think it makes a huge statement, not that the California politicians will listen to it. But, you know, for a long time, it's been very difficult to live there if you're a middle class person. Uh, housing's very expensive. It's difficult to find. It's been tough if you're poor. They have the largest, by far largest, unsheltered homeless population in the country. But now, if it's not even, uh, if these aren't even friendly confines for a tech billionaire who makes green cars, which is a the sort of the most California job you can think of. I, I don't know who the state is working for. So, uh, yes, it's a big warning. And, and that tax issue has something to do with it, given his wealth, zero income tax in the state of Texas. California has the highest individual top rate in the nation at over 12 percent. And uh, I would hope that they would take this uh, latest signal to think about reform and a more open economy and, a, and an easier place to live. Big warning. You're, you're probably right about that. They don't usually listen to those kind of warnings when they get them in the past out in California. Let me talk stimulus with you, which was one of the other stories we mentioned. Not only the comments from the left and right, Tlaib and Hawley saying, hey, we need direct payments to be in this plan. But also, maybe more importantly, uh, this afternoon, Mitch McConnell said that you should set aside the things that we're hung up on, which is liability protections for business, state and local um, funding, which the Democrats are pushing for, and let's pass something that we agree on. What do you think is going to happen here with, with stimulus as we head into the end of the year? Uh, well, I would hope they uh, agree to set aside a lot of things. I think that Friday jobs report, uh, another 350,000 roughly added in the private sector tells you with 12 million jobs added since the spring shutdowns, if we just stop the limits on activity, this economy will revive. Now, as far as individual payments, I, I think there is a case that uh, if you're going to write another stimulus bill, and I wish they wouldn't, uh, sending money directly to people, especially people whose uh, restaurants and retail uh, jobs have been basically eliminated in, in places by politicians, I, I think there's a lot better case for that than what currently seems to be part of the package, which is checks to state and local governments. So um, I would hope they would realize that uh, reopening is the best stimulus. But if you're going to do a bill like this, mm -hmm. I think there's a case. Knock out the state and government aid. A lot of these states and governments, their problems are pre-COVID. They have nothing to do with COVID. The states right. that uh, were in good financial shape pre-COVID, like uh, Georgia, are not uh, begging for money. So uh, I, think, uh, I think this is an argument that might go somewhere and win over some Republican votes in the Senate. Well, we know that if Rashida Tlaib and Josh Hawley are both tweeting in support of it, you can truly say that it has support from both the left and the right, so there's that. Pretty, uh, as a final point, broad coalition, James, yeah. we played the, that is a broad coalition, the soundbite from Mayor de Blasio on uh, the vaccine. And, you know, he says it's coming next week. Is that to make us believe now? I know the mayor and the governor, New York City and New York State, don't necessarily see eye to eye that maybe the governor will drop his uh, kind of independent review and people of New York will get the vaccine when it's approved and ready? Is, is that where we are, do you think? Uh, I think you can expect a lot of weirdness with, with Cuomo, Cuomo and de Blasio and, and perhaps some arguments between them about who should get it first and, and when it should be available. But as far as the availability, I think the mayor is sketching out an absolutely reasonable time frame. Uh, the expectation is the Pfizer vaccine gets approved uh, within days by the FDA. Uh, the uh, general leading the Operation Warp Speed uh, distribution effort uh, says that they are ready to start shipping in 24 hours. They've got agreements with UPS, FedEx, and other companies. So uh, I think it's very reasonable if the governor, Mr. Cuomo, will allow patients to get this needed vaccine that it could be happening that quickly. That is General Perna, who you're referring to. He's been at that yes. vaccine summit right. um, down in Washington today. James, thank you. James Freeman from the Wall Street Thanks, Journal.